Hello, hello, my beautiful soul. Welcome to this reading and warm welcome to this channel. How are you doing? I hope you are doing so, so well. Thumbs up indeed. Right, it's me here and Happy New Year to you. So this is going to be pick a card reading for January. Okay, so this is not just going to be ordinary. While I'm shuffling the cards right in front of you, as I always do, okay, I will at the end as well, before we choose the card, um, before you can choose the groups, I will uh, select I will have four groups and for each group I will have as well each zodiac sign. So there will be three zodiac signs for each group. So it's interesting because then you can see if you can't choose a group, then you can choose by your by your signs. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okie dokes. Right, as always, I will put description box timestamps so it's all clear, right? Anyhow, you ready? Let's begin. Let's begin, my beautiful soul. So January 2024. Look, what's happening? It's very important because there's a, Saturn's going direct, Neptune's going direct, Jupiter is already direct from the 30th December, okay? And Mercury is going direct from the 1st of Jan. And Uranus will go direct from the 27th of January. However, okay, so when Mercury goes direct, there's a, always, and other planets as well, there's always a little bit of a shadow side. So especially coming to the, towards the end of the month, there will be much more uh, movement happening, okay? They will be feel, will feel like, you know, like the um, the doors are opening, all the possibilities are there, okay? Now, we have new moon in Capricorn, 11th of January. So it's triple one, which is one, one, one kind of portal. Number one is about thoughts. It's about what you think. It's like that, if you can imagine any time, any moment, if the universe was taking a snapshot of your mind, what are you thinking? What are you manifesting? It's a perfect time to manifest something. As always, the new moons is beginnings, okay? So it's a good time to start something new chapter and change. And because it happens with conjunct with Pluto and trying with Uranus, there will be a very massive, uh, perhaps even a sudden changes happening. But this is a perfect time around the 11th January to jot down every single thing that you want to change. Um how you want to stand out. And it's a really kind of raising your bar as well. Don't be the shallow. Don't be hiding behind certain things. Rebrand yourself. Change. Stand out. Okay. So it's a perfect time to write what you want and go for it. Now, then when we have uh, Pluto goes into Aquarius on the 20th of January as well. So it moves signs from Capricorn and it goes into Aquarius. Aquarius is rather free spirit, free thinker, okay, and it will kind of have this feel of entering kind of new generation, entering some sort of new, look, Aquarius is star, so star is shining, star is being individual, okay, this is about the individual kind of talents or skills, what are your unique skills, skill sets, talents, ways of thinking, don't be shy, jot them down, okay, I love writing things down, because they're kind of you could cement actually, okay, and that is something to um, focusing on, and allowing yourself being unique, okay, I know it's the culture, or it's the time where we kind of compare one another, no, right now, okay, especially on the 20th of January, around the time, it's important to be unique, and really kind of dig deep, and see, see, you know, seeking that um energy of what is yours okay what is yours now and of course we have the full moon in the oh, beautiful leo's and 25th of january so coming to the end of months it's definitely gonna be the feel of wanting to shed that old and as you are ready from the, the new moon period you will like to perhaps even shed some of the old talents um that doesn't serve you no more, habits that doesn't serve you, beliefs, whatever, and stepping into confidence. Look, Leo is about strength and confidence, and this will, you will, these two are coming out, okay, um, you will feel like you, you want to shed something, okay, the same as the snake, snake is shedding its skin, so perhaps you are starting new chapter, new life, you know, why not, why not, look, 2023 has been an interesting year, especially the end of the year. But now comes the January. It's it's all new game. <laughs> buckle up, baby. Buckle up. Right. So we're coming to the very last, last deck here. How has your 2023 been, by the way? 
Let me know in the comment section. A couple words, if you don't mind. And what are your aspirations? What it is you would like to have in 2024? Mm, someone is, as I've seen, someone is packing bags, like, um, or re decluttering one. I'm seeing is like an old, beautiful um, suitcase, you know, this kind of wooden ones or kind of uh, taupe color or brown colored leather with the straps around. Well, that is real vintage kind of stuff. Okay, as promised, we having four groups. Okay, four groups we have. Now, what are we going to do at this time? I have selected major corners that reflect to each of the signs. Okay, <laughs> check your chart. What is your sun? What is your moon? What is your Venus? And understand, to, it's interesting to understand what each one of them actually reflect upon. Okay, and then you can understand more how, what makes you tick, how, why, and how you react to things. Okay. So, group number one, we have Justice, Taurus, Gemini, Pisces. I'm just going to put the cards out and then I'm going to explain to you guys. Okay, so gonna make nice and neat as neat as I can okay all right so group number one hello okay so we have, we have a hermit which is Virgo we have the star Aquarius hello Aquarius and the justice Libra okay group number two we have strength Leo we have the shadow side Capricorn we have the high priest which is Taurus uh, Hierophant and number three, we have Emperor, we have uh, Aries, we have Temperance, Sag, and Lovers, Gemini. And group number four, we have the Scorpio with Death, we have Chariot, Cancer, and Moon, Pisces. So, are you ready? There is no right or wrong, okay? You can stop, you can... Uh, pause it for a while. You can pop in between. You can choose by your zodiac sign. You can choose whatever. You can switch between one of them or watch throughout the January and see whichever resonates. Let's go. Alrighty. So, welcome, group number one, 2024, January. What we have for you, as I said, we have Hermit for Virgo, Star for Aquarius, and Justice for Libra. I'm going to leave them here. So you can see. Can you see? I don't know. Can you see? But I'll, I'll put them on the description box as well. So, right. Let's start. <laughs> okay. Wow. Official person. Two, two. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's a good omen. I'm seeing um, this could be some um, documents or um, I'm seeing quite a thick folder being delivered or issued. Something's interesting going on. Purity, number 30. It could be as well that these two numbers perhaps are significant for the month of January as well. Just keep that in mind. We have air elements, state of mind, clarity. All right. Wow, this is interesting. Wow, future, okay, projected, clear road. Oh, this is, oh my goodness, hello. We have the moon. Mm hmm okay. We have the star. Oh my goodness. And we have the lovers, three major arcanas. Okay. This is significant. I am not going to lie. This is very, very significant. I will clarify with uh, uh, yet another tarot deck here. But I'm seeing here straight away. I feel like, you know, many years ago, I did um, laser surgery for my eyes. And the feeling that suddenly I could see clearly, it, it the first moment when I could 
wake up and not putting glasses on it was immense and i'm feeling the same for you i kind of feel like someone is letting letting you go or in a positive way there's some a lot of freedom okay i feel like there's a lot of um i can do whatever i want and especially looking at this card here it's kind of like i'm taking my car i'm going for a spin and i'm going whenever i want at the speed i want i know say health and safety well of course but it kind of feels like no one is stopping me and with the purity and element it kind of feels everything's clear it kind of feels like this makes sense like the January is going to make sense or some sort of event will take place. It could be a person, it could be some sort of significant occasion or event take place that really puts, will actually put, uh, let's go with the ducks. It will feel like the ducks are in a row. It kind of feels like this is what you've been waiting for. Group number one, it feels like in if there has been some mud, if there has been some sort of unclarity, if there has been some sort of barriers in front of you, some sort of... um um obstacles um you know it kind of felt especially interesting we have the moon here as well things will be cleared okay either secrets will come to light okay with the star interesting there's a lot of interesting background stories perhaps are coming to light okay and especially for the lovers here it's kind of like it's meant to be and it could be that some of you are meeting a person that's it could be very significant. It doesn't have to be on on relationship level. It could be as well that someone maybe as an authority at work or colleague could be really significant um, support for you. Okay, but I feel like as well with the lovers here, it's kind of like it's meant to be. This you and this event or something else is meant to be together. Either this is job or a road trip or something. There will be some. I feel. I have this feeling of. You know, like when you finish school or you're looking for go to the first day to work or something new is starting, some sort of new chapter. It can have this massive feeling of excitement, a positive excitement. Uh, the excitement of not knowing is this, how is this going to unfold? But you're feeling super positive, super um, like looking forward to. I feel like there is a lot of, um, especially with the star here as well, it's kind of, has this especially we have the match as well it has this feeling of it matches this is meant to be this is meant to happen okay let's dive in with with the tarot some of some of you perhaps are either climbing some um career ladder or doing something very very significant i feel like there's a breakthrough breakthrough like breaking free breaking like yeah we were talking about the new moon especially in, in capricorn for the january it's kind of really raising your 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 the bar rebranding yourself being who you truly are and it kind of feels like standing out and following your place following your star and not allowing anyone or anything to stop you okay because you are the star you know, in the Bible, the, the three kings followed the star. And it was kind of that guidance, that hope, that faith, that vision. And I feel like some of you are really, really following. If you have some sort of very strong kind of calling, um, this calling is right. And this vision um, is, is right. And if this will be some sort of very true, significant synchronicities, coincidences, perhaps even... Let's dive in. This is so interesting. We have the devil here. And if you look at the cards, if you can see it here. I like, as if like a little marionettes, you know, this little kind of toys where you, someone has been, someone has been holding you by the string, you know, and you're breaking free. This is the, fr the one word that really calls me here is, I'm free. I'm free. I can do what I want. But I'm not in kind of rebellious, but it kind of really empowering way. As if like some of you are either breaking free from a person or a toxic relationship. It could be anywhere. It could be a community that is not healthy for you. Perhaps a place that you've been living maybe um, was not very safe, perhaps. Okay. And it kind of feels like finally, either you've been given maybe a new place to live or 
opportunity to move to change to improve there's a real kind of final i'm seeing hearing someone saying finally okay and i kind of it hasn't been an easy ride here okay let's clarify what else you need to know about this card king of pentacles i do feel some of you perhaps were not able to move uh due to monies okay or a person that you thought that maybe they had the upper hands but it wasn't true however maybe some of you needed to get some money together to be able to move right um and finally this is happening or there's some opportunity that is coming your way to unblock this road that you needed to go it could be as well um the interesting king of pentacles as well is a person that is supportive of monies they have status like official person it could be either your as i said there could be a person there could be a law or regulations that not, doesn't have to be just a person but there could be some sort of laws or regulations that is on your side okay and something has been cleared something has been kind of unblocked and you've been given maybe some grant you may maybe given some opportunity to do something um let's have a look what else you need to know Knight of Wands. <laughs> Very passionate. Yeah, especially some of you who are maybe looking for love or um, excited. Or even if you're not looking for love, it could be the love is finding you. And it could start as a friendship as such. Two of Swords. Six of Wands. And the star. Wow, the strength. Very, very I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very powerful energy of especially when I'm looking at the two of swords, it's kind of like a juggling, juggling act, okay? And it could be some of you are look. When we have some sort of habits or way of living or way of doing things, whatever the change is, sometimes it comes with a little bit anxious. Uh, sometimes we don't know how things are going to turn out. Okay. Interesting. We have the moon right above her. It's kind of like she feels like she's walking in a very thin line. Very thin line, right in the middle of the road. It kind of feels like as if someone's walking right in the middle of the road, which is not healthy. And now you're coming away from that. Oh, wow okay i love these cards because they are, have a, such a beautiful energy and really explaining as well what i'm feeling here straight away is kind of like you are no longer walking on eggshells does it make sense to you i felt like someone has been walking on eggshells metaphorically hopefully not for real for some time and no more where are you coming now you're coming into the star again like th three stars in one it's like the, the three star reading okay okay it's five star but anyhow we have with the strings and six ones look you're gonna come out on top people are gonna be really admiring you similar as the star they're looking up to the star and the stars means abundance as well there's millions of stars out there it kind of feels like there's so much opportunity so much possibilities and especially with this leo here as well because we have the full moon leo it could be as well around the full moon period time which is 25th of january you will perhaps you will have that peak moment i do feel like especially we have the 22nd and 30th it kind of feels that the end of the month is actually becoming more and more kind of peak culmination okay and full moon does bring those kind of huge energies as well into people but you're going to be on top look he's been admired by, by everyone else like on a golden horse you know and again we isn't this interesting i'm going to show you something here once i dig out this card okay tell me about it both are wearing kind of uniform celebration and you may be in army or serving but it could be so that you are this you getting that deserved reward and that the star is about as well universe is giving you some sort of reward that is yours something that is yours is landing in your life landing this is universe giving you some opportunity giving you some um rewards could be some monies that is owed to you or giving you that time to shine be really true who you are 
the winner okay and this person it kind of feels like you don't have to explain yourself you are who you are but you do your job very well whatever you do in your life and i feel like there's a lot about especially with the purity in our air elements as well it kind of has this feeling of integrity integrity plays a huge huge part um in in, in for the month of january for you guys big time things that you do with integrity and especially if you are spiritually awakened and and um you know once you cross that door once you cross that line you can't come back right what i mean is by this when you know something is wrong you know it's wrong when you know when you know that something is right and you do it because that's what you believe in and you live by that belief and i've i know it sounds a bit jiggerish but what i'm feeling here is a lot of you have followed this star this is the belief this is your hope this is what you believe your faith it has been guiding you and it has not betrayed you it has served you so well and i feel like january is going to really prove that what you believed either this is in yourself or this is in your faith is this your religion is this whatever your dreams you're following it kind of feels like it's coming to either this is the end of it i don't think so this is just beginning i feel like some of you are really uh starting it okay because well maybe you're wanted to manifest job and you're finally gonna get it and perhaps you said no to some of the jobs or some sort of opportunities you said no because they didn't felt right they didn't felt within your parameters within your what you believe in and now it really shows yes you are right group number one you have a right to say no to those things or people or presence that do not serve you well you it was you are right to follow the star that inner star that is calling you and universe is saying this i will show you how beautiful can life can be if you know what you want and you follow that place wow <laughs> very very powerful month for you guys very reward very rewarding very rewarding and so it is thanks so much for being here and i'll see you next reading however if you want to stick around i have a good few bunch of readings in my channel so please visit the channel share like comment and subscribe and when you do so you help me to help you and that's what i call energy exchange happy new year and i'll see you in the next reading Okay, group number two. Hello, hello. Welcome to 2024 January reading. So if you chose the group number two, and here we are, we have the strengths for Leo. We have the shadow sign for Capricorn. And we have the high priest for Taurus. This is message for you for January. Let's go. Change. beauty look at that number nine number 20 we have the letters communication interesting when i was shuffling i could i was telling that i could see an old suitcase it could be the some of you perhaps it's you group number two who might be coming upon my stumble across uh old letters or communication or paper clippings or some sort of interesting um storyline or interesting some sort of communication retaliation mm -hmm. feisty okay we have the judgment 
and we have this imprints. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. This sound, looks like sounds like some sort of um, um interesting storyline for a film or something. Now, so bear with me for a second. Okay, I will shock you perhaps. And might, this might not resonate with everyone, but as some sort of other a person or personal circumstances or situation or something will resurface. And what I'm feeling here is kind of like, it's time to put end to this. I know it sounds perhaps weird, but it could be some love story or some sort of outstanding grief with a person or outstanding kind of situation that has been out there in the air and needs to be cleared finally with the letters as well i'm feeling as well it could be not just the letters but it could be communication it could be um exchange of words but it kind of it could be as well that there could be some, some sort of misunderstanding and that's what i feel this is Perhaps it could be with a person or some sort of situation that ha has happened before. And in January, it's going to be cleared. Like, done, okay? Move on. And it's actually when you actually scratch the surface a little bit, no one actually remembers what was the argument about, what was the situation about. As if like... And it has been lingering in air for some time. I could kind of feel like some of you are going to be putting behind this situation that has really dragging you down because interesting judgment is the second last tarot in major okay in major kind of and it's it's i love this card the house right house middle nowhere okay and as if like you have learned the lesson you come around you've been here before but you now have learned the lesson it was not worth an interesting next to the temperance hello Hello Sagittarius. It's kind of like feeling of wanting to smooth the situation, wanting to calm the waters, wanting to have a peaceful time period. This is a card of healing. And I think some of you might be realizing that whatever the situation was, was that something to regarding to do with work, money, or um, any kind of situation, either family member or or a lover or old friend even okay it was all one big misunderstanding because judgment is saying i'm here to set you free and i'm feeling as well that some of you may have kept something from the other person or someone else and there has been some sort of miscommunication okay and it's purely because you didn't want to be judged or you didn't want to really let them know who you really are or how you feel about this but finally you can let it go and it kind of it's not <laughs> interesting we have the retaliation but it kind of feels like it's not the revenge as per se it's just this is meant to happen the judgment is that kind of like it's a karma card baby this is I'm, I'm not being nasty but some some people need to learn this if someone is doing something against the integrity, against the light. It will come back for them to realize it was not right. And it's not for us to punish them. And it's not for us to celebrate someone's being punished. But it's kind of like giving us even a little bit lesson as well that perhaps we participated in this one as well. But I feel, especially with the beauty card, what is interesting, what is beautiful in this situation, they, I do feel, and I, I'm going to shock you perhaps, out of this situation, you are going to gain a friend or you're going to gain peace of mind. Because with temperance, this is a card of healing. In a typical tarot, you would see an angel, Archangel Raphael, with a beautiful green wings. It's kind of like hugging everyone peacefully. It's time to kind of have moderate. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> just spirit just told me a storyline here so 
um, and I feel like some of you need to heal. Either this is relationship with someone or kind of, it's so much easier when you can get on with your life and you don't have to waste your time thinking about revenge or punishing or, or some sort of ick situation. Some of you perhaps are actually planning to retire or semi-retire or slow down a bit. This is a card of slowing down and not meaning that it's nothing's happening, but it's kind of like enjoying life in moderation. And with this change here, as if like, you know, some of you might be downsizing or uh, moving a country or moving something. It could be as well. There's a lot of energy happening. Maybe, as I said, they, there is some sort of decluttering maybe going on as well. Maybe moving to the house right in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and that's what you want. Maybe some of you want to write a book or or do certain things. Maybe some of you want to even write about past, about situations that... Um, that has happened to you, all right? Let's have a look with um, Tarot, what's, what January is all about. Yeah, Nine of Swords. And you know what's interesting is, she didn't want to hear it. She didn't want to hear it. But if she took the ears off, well, ears off, if she took her hands off her ears, she would be able to hear there was nothing to be scared of. It was all in her head. And I'm not saying that there wasn't some sort of situation, whatever. But I, I kind of feel like sometimes we make it bigger, kind of blow out the proportions in some words. And I'm saying is this is, could be anything to do with relationships or situations. And it kind of feels like there's a, something's going to be smoothed over. And you know what? 99% of situations that we kind of fear might happen, don't happen. The star. The star is everywhere. This is so interesting. It could be as well because Pluto is moving into Aquarius. And this is about being who you truly are. And that's with the judgment here. Be who you really are. You've been called. You've been summoned to be um, who you are. Being the star. Don't be... Don't be shy of your individual talents. Don't be shy of who you truly are. I feel like some of you, and may not be everyone, have some sort of talents that perhaps you're a little bit shy of it. Is this writing something and you want to write in a way that maybe not everyone will be understanding? Okay, what I'm saying could be some very juicy um, romantic novel or some juicy kind of situation or genre, whatever that is, okay? And... If this is something that is calling you, I'm feeling you are, <laughs> just go with it. This is a perfect timing, okay? And some of you might perhaps were very concerned about how you would be viewed. Look, you can have a pen name, right? And um, no one would know who you really are. You can be anyone, okay? And you don't need anyone's permission to who you are. Well, look at that. We have the sun. I have to say, group number two, and that needs me having ten of cups. Look, whatever the relationship, especially with the relationship or family or close friend, is going to be smoothed over. We have a lot of majors in January. I have to say, it's a very, very powerful month indeed. As well. Look, they both are dancing. It's like as if like happy ever after. And that's how the January feels like. The finally, you're both sitting down. doesn't have to be men, men, female, if whatever it is. I kind of feel like there's some sort of Either you or someone else going to be putting your differences aside and actually realize you are not that much different. And it could be as well that you have actually some sort of similarities, some cl something close, something you are, you don't have, okay, so here we are. For example, you have a friend and you have completely different interests and stuff like that, but it's something very common. Perhaps you like to have a friend who is completely different and doesn't say just yes, sir, no, sir, okay? You may be, Enjoy that they're more quirky, that they are more... Do you know what I'm gonna, getting here? That you're going to be enjoying, actually, the differences of the other person or situation. You're going to be kind of seeing this situation from the home completely different um, um, angle. And when the sun comes out, perhaps you slept on it and realized, look, it's not worth dragging on. It's not... Um, it was a bad day, but it doesn't have to be bad year or bad month, right? And when the sun comes out, you see the things in different light. And that's what I'm feeling for January. It's kind of like really seeing things for what they are. 
And you know what? Life is beautiful. So are you. I love these glasses, these cat glasses. Like I feel like some of you are really coming out of your shell a lot. Really coming out of your shell. It could be something to do with, um, especially with the full moon and, and, and Leo as well. Kind of really shedding the old and, and gaining that confidence. Speaking up being true with who you really are and being quirky being more individual i feel some of you have really quirky side in a ways and really you might okay you might see or think um that's weird or strange but some not only one person but i th think a lot of people could really resonate with you if you allowed for them to see your talent, your work, what you do, or whatever thoughts you share, okay? Maybe you're writing poems or you're painting. Something really quirky or something different. I feel like there's a lot of people maybe who like to dress up differently, okay? And it's just, once you do and come out and share that with other people, it's it's really empowers others as well to be who they really truly are. I feel like some of you are real pioneers here. And that's who you are. And that's what January is about. Seeing the beautiful sides of the differences. And sometimes putting differences as sides. And let's let's agree we're going to disagree. But let's have a great conversation. You're very unique. You have to, I have to say that. You're very unique indeed. And that's all I have for you, my beautiful self, for January. I hope you enjoyed let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what, what was your 2023 like or what are your aspirations for 2024. And if you want to stick around, just welcome to my channel. There is lots of pick card readings. There's a 2024, each zodiac sign readings there as well. Pick a card reading for 2024. So plenty to explore, my beautiful soul. Um, anyhow, thanks so much for being here and I'll see you in the next reading. Ta -da. <laughs>
like a secret. It's like a um, this is mine. As if like I'm feeling that someone is very out of secrecy, but because they're protecting something. Either you're working with some sort of um recipes or creating something that is has a, some sort of secrecy around. Okay, whatever it is, is that the military is this uh creating perfume or I don't know some sort of um item that has some sort of secrecy that states it like um production secrecy involved okay and it might not apply to everyone but i feel like there's a lot of a um, hush 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 okay on a professional kind of real level okay day-to-day -day level and i feel like some of you are maybe behind the scenes you're doing something maybe some of you are maybe looking for a new job because of ace of wands it's about work kind of closing one door looking for another okay and Really going with the gut as well, we have the yellow door here, which is like really solar plexus, right? Two of pentacles, it's it's about juggling, okay? Could be working full-time here and part-time somewhere else, or doing part-time some sort of business or adventure or spiritual work or trying to do something, okay? I, and I feel like this is, could be a secret as well to you. Are you trying to create your own, uh, some sort of, um, I don't know, group or people or attract something like-minded people to your website or your what you're doing there's lots going on <laughs> you are a very busy person i'm i'm telling you that and january is not going to be no different it kind of feels and i like anyone else in january was like more of um coming out of shell you you know who you are and there's no doubt about that group number three you absolutely know 110 percent who you are why you're here what you're doing and where you're going there is I have this feeling of either Queen of, of Wands or Queen of Swords kind of energy, which is really strong of, um, well, we have the Emperor here as well, uh, of a, I know what I am, I know what I want, and I'm going to get it. And either this is literally by um, being very good at manifesting or very good at, do you know, have you read the book, The Game of, life and how to play it it's a very old book in fact i think it's been that idea has been played around for a long time it's a rather old ish um but it's an interesting book the game of life and how to play it if you have a chance uh have a look uh but i have feeling here some of you are know the rules and i feel like you are you are one of those people who you don't have to be in, in a and especially in january like you are in your element absolutely lots going on lot is going on you are in your element it's kind of like stage is yours you're the main character you're very confident however you you you're very good on kind of having kind of close circle not everyone is invited not everyone is allowed and you could be rather sharp ish on quickly letting people go if they cross the line which is very good okay um let's dive in in tarot but i feel like you have something up your sleeve you have something up your sleeve for january and why i'm saying i'm seeing march okay the, the spirit is showing me massive arrow and showing into march is this something gonna materialize in march is this something gonna are you going to publish something in March? Is it something about the March or spring season? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. But it kind of, the arrow was clearly to the March. Interesting. Okay. Or there could be some, you're doing something and that will really bring more results and rewards in March, March, month of March. Okay, let's dive in. Group number three, what you need to know. Strength, Leo. Look, we have the full moon in Leo on 25th of January, okay? And it's it's really kind of like embracing. It's why is interesting about this card here. If you see the lion's paw is a little bit injured. And this lady is kind of healing it and nursing it, right? So maybe some of you have had a bruised ego or something has happened but you will not let the world know that something has happened you will do it in silence 
in quietness. Perhaps you have a Scorpio somewhere in your or a sign as well in your chart it, or Leo as well. Scorpio is very kind of secretive a little bit or wanting to not to discuss um, situations that are perhaps hurtful. But this is kind of as well, I feel like you are growing in your strengths day by day. And this is not like, I know this is a, Right now, there's a lot of people, and it's nothing wrong with that, want to share, and I feel sometimes oversharing, okay? You are not one of them. You let people know what you want them to know. <laughs> and, and it's no different. For you, or, I kind of feel, I have this feeling that group number three, you are very, well, I know all I'm doing. I know what I'm, I'm, I am, what I'm here about. And for you, it's kind of like the January it's just this is confirmation <laughs> as if like i know yeah i know about this right this is what i know this is what i do this is what i have planned this is what's materializing this is what is happening as if like yeah it's just confirmation what else in town and the star i think the star is coming out every time it could be because the pluto is going in aquarius in the 20th of january it really like look at me I am the star. I am in, it's like stage is mine. You're very brave. You're very uh, focused on where you're going because the star is guiding you to this new either job, new opportunity, okay? Um, you're very, very confident in, in current situation, your current place. You're always looking out for something else, of course. You keep your options open. Wow. Eight of Pentacles. Yes, absolutely. Do you know what? And this is energy of, I know what I'm doing. I'm good at it. Look at look at that. Look at that wall, right? I have made this pentacle. I made that pentacle and, and so forth. And it kind of feels like I like it. I roll up my sleeves and I'm getting on. I feel like January for you is absolutely... Roll up the sleeves and just get on with the job. Um, I feel like you may perhaps are restricting yourself to much of entertainment. Okay. Um, unless some may have had some interesting encounters. However, in general, I feel like very much of you are full on. Okay. We have the two pentacles, like literally. Yep. I'm, I'm, if I'm not doing this, I'm doing something else. When I'm not doing something else, I'm doing this. It's kind of like very, very busy, 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 busy focusing on what I'm doing, what I'm liking, and very determined. I've, oh, this is the word for it, yeah, very determined. Is there anything else you need to know? I really feel like I was more confirming what you know, but sometimes we do need that a little bit of that confirmation. Um... And you already knew this. Seven of Pentacles. Aha. Okay. You are not going to stop until you get there. Nothing is going to stop you. And you're very flexible in, in a ways as well. As I feel like if there is some sort of... um barrier if there's some sort of obstacle if you can't get there by on foot you will get there on on air balloon like you are so determined like emperor right <laughs> similar or uh, Sagittarius right or even Gemini okay this is this this is you are so determined like no one nothing is stopping you from what you want to achieve and you don't even need anyone's permission. You are so on point. You are 100% dedicated to this. And if there is any kind of obstacle, you will, you will figure out how to, you know, around, <laughs> around all the kind of problems. You're very, very determined to succeed. Let's pull one more. 
Room number three, you are you are on fire, I'm telling you. Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. I love this pose, you know, like in in a ballet, you would kind of stand there and and start dancing. Uh you you are so in sync with yourself in the with the world with who you are with what you want it is so rare to see to be honest stay in tune stay in your little bubble that you have i feel like you have this kind of little bubble where you keep away all that negative all the bs all the crazy stuff that's going out there in the world you're really living in that kind of bubble project me okay and go for it because right now, you know, you're kind of making uh, wine from water. You're having that balance, you know, your foot is stable on the ground, like you have this ground in this. However, at the same time, you dip your toes in water. So it's kind of like really your mind and all your attention is in the right place. There is no, there is no disbalance. There is very healthy balance in your life. And this is your period of time where you, you have decided you want to go for this and this is your this is who you really are well and that's all i have for you i hope you have a fantastic january well we know we are you are going to have a fabulous month indeed but if you want to stick around there is good few pick a card readings or each zodiac sign readings for 2024 pick a card reading for 2024 as well and good few things as well just welcome to my channel explore anyhow I love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next reading. Okay, group number four. Hello, hello, hello. Group number four. This is for January 2024. So, group number four for 2024. Indeed, it rhymes. Now, here we are. Big card reading for Scorpio, Cancer, and the Pisces. Interesting. All water signs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you need to know? I'm coughing. 19. Oh my God. Two 19s. Balance. Amasuritas. Manifest. That's a card of love. Nightlife. Oh. We have Scorpio again. I love this card, it's beautiful. And we have Eight of Pentacles. You have such a different energy than any other group, to be honest. I'm seeing spring, I'm seeing someone has a spring in their step. It could be because um it may not resonate with everyone, but it could be that someone is finding a new true love a new true friend or a new true kind of talent or some sort of very very um some sort of very exciting activity and i'm not talking about nightlife i'm not, I'm not talking about just going out and i feel like it kind of feels like some of you are going to find something that they're really good at and when we're looking at the two 19s right which is balance and a coffin. Coffin, what it means is actually kind of like closing something. It could be as well that some of you could be literally changing your career completely 180. Like completely. Either as well, it could be like something that you said, I'm never going to do this and you are doing it. And actually you love it. And you will think, why didn't I do this before? But look, you had to 
do that. I have the feeling there's a lot of, it's like um, there's a lot of sp spring in someone's step. Either that's usually what you get when you are either just in new love, or you are in love with something that you really enjoy. What in, in time, like truly that you enjoy. And with the, when we have the look, we have the Eight of Pentacles and Death card. It kind of feels like finally you are coming out either of your shell, which just could be something to do with we have because we have a. Um, the, the the full moon in, in Leo and with this confidence and with the kind of like being individual more okay could be as well that you are ditching the old okay you have death and a coffin it, got, it doesn't mean about someone dying nothing like that but this is really kind of like phoenix phoenix rising from ashes it could be as well some of you might be coming out of on um being unemployed for some time and you're finally going into kind of back in the rhythm okay back in the, with the with people having drinks, exchanging communications and all kind of stuff, being back in the life. Maybe you have been in unwell for some time, and now finally you are better, and you can actually. There's a lot of healing happening here, okay, it, and manifesting, okay. It it kind of feels like some of you are coming out of either your shell or coming out of unemployment, and you are gonna enjoy what you do, and you're gonna be rewarded because Eight of Pentacles is absolutely. The energy of whatever you do, you're going to be rewarded accordingly. Maybe you have been working for something or building something. And finally, you're going to get reward or paid for it. So some sort of recognition, okay? I feel like it has... Okay, what's interesting here with the nightlife? It's completely different colors, like really standing out. But what is interesting is the similarity of Scorpio colors, right? Your boldness, okay, has paid off. Taking a risk has paid off. And it's nothing to do with gamble. This is kind of like really calculated uh, risk. It could be some. It was like all or nothing. Or you kind of felt maybe... Maybe you come to the time of your life where you feel like... If I want to change my career or improve something... Or even move somewhere else, okay? It's now or never. And that kind of conversation maybe perhaps you're going to have... Or you had had and the January month month of January is really either clarifying that this is the right choice or it's already happening now in January okay let's dive in group number four you are so so different the really interesting thing with with these two matching numbers it could be date very significant date date 19th okay um and it's one and nine it's kind of like the beginning and end it's kind of like the cycle you the new moon and the full moon could be significant uh time for you okay let's have a look at it with tarot oh wow page of pentacles so look someone is coming out from the snow okay someone's coming into your kind of place or it's you it's as if like some of you perhaps are coming out of cold or being unemployed or being uh feeling un underpaid you know and coming into that warmth right as if and the pages are messengers so it's it kind of feels like there could be someone asking you to come and join the team or come and join the company or some sort of advice look and at any time you could say no and you might not like it okay i can't tell you what to do you have free will beautiful soul however it kind of feels like some of you are coming out of that coldness okay and it kind of like yeah coming into the warmth coming into into money coming into Things are happening. Things are manifesting. We have the Amazon Maritas manifesting. Things are really manifesting. Okay? Manifesting. Money. 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 Manifesting. Yeah. Let's dive in. What else you need to know for month of January? Queen of Wands. Oh, very bold. I love these cards. Okay, the tower. There will be some massive drastic changes. And I'm not surprised because the new moon in Capricorn is definitely going to bring a lot of sudden changes. But do not fight or resist. As quicker you... and as, as more flexible you are. And I feel like you want this change. You want that some sort of... You want stability, but you want... A bit different, a bit more exciting. 
And with Queen of Wands, you will not be bored. With Queen of Wands, you are going to have just fun. Okay. And I feel like we were talking, I was beginning, starting to tell that some of you are going to fall in love with something. Either this is a person or this is some sort of... And it could be as well that you are falling in love with the time of your life. I know it sounds a bit cliche, but finding the happiness at any age is not always easy. And if you're happy with where you're at in your life, you will realize how much fun you actually can have in life. I'm not talking about just kind of nightlife fun, but I'm talking about actually enjoying life. Queen of Wands, she's very bold. She does what she wants, and she, if she wants, she has the whip. But it's kind of like this great opportunities. If it's not about a person who is very coming out of a shell, very... Um, she's not shy, okay, and she's very brazen and sometimes very full on, okay, but it, it, it could be as well that is a person that you're meeting, okay, or it's it's the qualities that either new job or new person is bringing out to you, kind of bringing out the life, okay, bringing out the best out of you. Isn't this interesting? The Ten of Cups keep coming up, keep coming up. Um, wow. Some of you definitely are going to find a new person or a, a, a really companion even. Someone you can talk to, someone who is there to listen, even disagree with you, but having a good old chat, right? And 10 is completion. There is some sort of, is this a new home? Is this a new relationship? Okay. And I feel like I said that someone has a spring in their step kind of like yeah this is this feels good this makes me happy this this new area this new job these new people around me even if i'm not even mingling with with them too much i'm i'm really enjoying i'm enjoying myself i'm enjoying the life and so be it right let's pull one more cards even though we are I kind of feel like this is a kind of sensing that At some point, you kind of nearly lost the hope that some sort of changes or this could happen to you, okay? Because, yeah, look, you thought it's not going to happen, not going to happen, not going to happen, not going to happen. It's not happening, it's not happening, I can't see it, you know? But what happened then? Tower happened, yeah. Really interesting. Whatever this is situation, either this is a person that's coming in your life or this is the person that's calling you and asking you to join, it's going to happen quick very sudden okay and tower not always has to be bad okay it's kind of like we have the emperor at the back someone who has uh, power to change or influence is either support you assist you bringing um that clarity in your life as well and i feel like some of you even be like emperor or aries in your chart perhaps even it kind of like bringing the stability in your life perhaps you have been tired with nothing's happening nothing's happening okay and you kind of like okay I need to take this risk. I need to take this risk. I to change my job or do something else. So I can be happy. I can enjoy myself. I can be more stable because this is a card of stability. Financial. For the family. For yourself. for to, to get your life in order. And you're getting that. Okay. Right. There is only one thing I would like to say is you um, <laughs> you might come into some monies, okay, unexpected. And sometimes that can really, I don't know, maybe some of you have not been earning too much for some time. And when you do, sometimes, me including, sometimes you want to splash out on things. Be wise with your income, okay? Don't just, um, and probably you won't do it, but... Be really, really wise. And this is a card of security, securing your passwords, so making sure that your bank or an internet or anything like that is secure. That This is what Tarot sometimes warns us about, okay? It's about kind of like being really mindful because look, this beautiful kind of, um, I can see that kind of bracelet or not bracelet, but um, yeah, bracelet. It's, it's kind of like, it's luxury. It's the money. Just keep it in mind. Keep protected. Okay, 
and it's nothing wrong to splash out on something okay on on a person or whatever but just be really mindful because um just remind yourself what happened a few months perhaps before where you didn't have that much maybe it's good to put something for any rainy day or for your uh, pension or whatever it's going to really be mindful of how are you spending um, your hard-earned money? Let's pull one for the route, shall we? Group number four. King of Pentacles. Yes, this is absolutely energy you're coming into. I kind of feel like January is definitely going to bring to you more certainty, more clarity, more stability, more... This is who I am. Look, he's having it like in a in in a caper. There is a card, male, main male, and he stands there, a little smirk, a little bit similar to him, and hand in the pockets, beautifully dressed, beautiful attire, perfect setting, and everything is perfect. You know, it doesn't have to be about the millions. It's about being able to pay your way and <clears throat> putting something aside, being in charge of what you have and what you do. And this kind of energy is really about empowering yourself. And perhaps you, you maybe are being offered some sort of promotion here as well. Because these are feeling here, there's some uh, leadership kind of roles maybe coming along. But I kind of feel like you, some of you majority is going to gain some financial stability. Something that you have needed for some time. And peace of mind. Peace of mind with the Ten of Cups. This is your emotions, being happy, truly happy, where you are, who you are, and who you is. <laughs> All right, my beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic January. Let me know what you think. And how is your you know, 2023? What are aspirations for 2024? Maybe even none. That, that's okay, right? You just maybe go with the flow. No wrong with that. Anyhow, if you want to stick around, please welcome to my channel. There's lots to explore. There's a lot of pick a card readings for 2024. I have for each zodiac sign. I have a reading for each month as well. And lots more, lots more as well. Anyhow, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. That helps me to help you. That's what I call energy energy exchange. Hey, happy new year to you, my beautiful soul. And I'll see you in the next reading. Love you. Ta-ta.